All right, so I'm going to shoot a video on this, and I want to address this situation. I've had some discussions with people that maybe don't really fully understand what what we're dealing with here. But this plant here is called lichen. It's a type of plant that's different from all the other plant species. The way it reproduces, the way it creates chlorophyll. It can actually live on rocks. It doesn't need to have anything like that. It's just a totally different life form completely. And this stuff, a lot of people say, no, it's good for the trees. It's good for the trees. That's not my take on it. Actually, it's not good for the trees. It's not good for the roof of your house. It's not good for your driveway. It's not good for the paint on your car. This stuff will actually damage everything that it comes into contact with, including the bark on this tree. So what happens is the lichen grows on the tree and the lichen always stays like moist to some degree. And so microorganisms get inside the lichen and under the lichen and they live within the bark under the lichen and they create more moisture situation. And next thing you know, the bark is crumbly and peeling off where the lichen is. The lichen actually destroys the bark eventually exposing it to the Cambrian layer, eventually killing the tree, if it's bad enough. And it's not good for trees, all right? A lot of people say, yeah, it's good, it's fine, it's all over the trees, but eventually it kills the trees. I can show you trees all in the area around here that are dead where the bark was covered with lichen. It kills the bark and eventually the bark dies. The bark, the bark needs to remain like this, nice and clear, it makes its own crust, it's got a nice healthy skin underneath it. It needs to be like this. Once this lichen comes in, it gets in between there and it puts out these little myosillin spore legs and they grow underneath the bark and then other things start to grow in there and eventually the bark starts to rot and fall off like it's doing now. Now this isn't a bad case. I can show you lichen where it's so bad my bark is peeling. It just killed another tree in the front of my house. I believe it was done, that was because of the lichen. I'll show you some of the logs here. They're about to mow the lawn, so I can't really get into this, but you know, you can see lichen all the way up this tree. It's starting to get bad. It'll if I leave it go, it's gonna get worse. The moss is, is isn't really as good for it as either, but it's not as bad as the lichen, in my opinion. I do believe all of it eventually causes the bark to rot. And once that protective layer of that bark rots, then eventually it causes the tree to die. If you cut, if you took this tree and you cut the bark all the way around this tree and you cut like a six inch layer all the way around, cut right into the Cambrian layer, the tree will die. It's the end of it. It's dead. It needs that skin that's between the bark and the wood behind it. You got the wood, then you got a Cambrian layer, which is where the sap runs in and out. Then you got the skin of the tree, the layer, part and then you got the bark that protects that skin if you cut that skin out all the way around that tree that tree will die if you leave one inch of that skin on there connected that tree will actually live but if you cut all that skin out now the tree will die that's actually a technique some people use to take down the tree they'll cut the skin first so it dies and then they cut the tree down it's easier because now the wood's dry and it's easier for your saws to cut it but I just wanted to show you the lichen. I'll show you some of the damage that it causes. Now this tree here that I just recently cut down in the front of my yard, this tree was completely covered with this lichen right here. Okay? Right there. That lichen. Now this stuff's probably still alive even though the tree's dead. But you can see what it does, does to the bark. You know? It's no good. It just it eats in that. Now that's my opinion. I could be wrong about that. Maybe it doesn't have any effect on the tree, but I believe it does. It, it grew on my roof, and it, in my, on my roof shingles, are, they're cracking apart. Ever since this stuff has been growing on my roof, my roof has really been falling apart. It causes damage. Some people will disagree with me on that, but I believe it causes damage. It's very simple. Um, I'm trying to look for somewhere else. I've seen some good-sized patches of it. It's all around. I mean, you can, everywhere you look out here, you see lichen. It grows on the rocks. Now, on the rocks, who cares on the rocks? But when it grows on the trees, I, I don't like. And here's, here's a good patch of lichen right there. 
that's your typical patch right there and it just kind of grows along you know like I say once it gets on the trees that's why I don't like it I don't like I'm not liking the lichen when it grows on my trees but yeah it's grown here as well you can see it the bark is coming off it's peeling off around the lichen it, it does do damage you know believe it or not I you know so just wanted to talk a little bit about the lichen and my, my interpretation of lichen, whether I like lichen or dislike lichen, it's lichen, whatever way you want to put at it, it is lichen. And it seems to grow mostly on the, I guess, eastern exposure. It kind of grows in all directions, but you'll mostly notice it on, on the eastern side and the southern side. I guess it likes sunlight to some degree. But that's it. That's your lichen. If you have any experience on lichen, I noticed several species of lichen, and I don't know what lichen this is. But if you have any experience with uh, lichen in your interpretation, share. I'm not going to get into an argument with you. I just want to hear your opinion. My opinion, I believe it helps bring the demise of the tree. Anything that compromises with the bark of the tree is eventually going to cause the tree to either get sick and die or it's going to lead to its demise in one way or the other. So that's my opinion on the, on the lichen. And there's a, there's a couple different varieties. There's actually a yellow variety up here. There's the green one. Look at the way this tree grew. Oh, I got termites in that tree. I think I got termites in these trees. But look at the way the tree grew. It grew like a whole layer, a whole layer. It's two trees are blended into one. Very common around here three trees actually all right that's my opinion on liking don't forget to like and share and subscribe and share this video see you on the next one all right so I just wanted to show you a little more to liking and um, just show you some of my opinion of why I think it's damaging the trees so this tree is a very old tree this is my dogwood and it's quite old. It's been struck by lightning. You can see the lightning damage here. I'll show you the lightning damage. It struck, I believe it struck somewhere up here and it traveled all around. Blew all the bark off the tree. So I cut down what I had to cut down. But I do want to show you some of the lichen. Now over here you actually have a couple of different uh, forms of lichen. This one's actually going into a like a pollination here. It's, it's making those little cups. Here's a very good view of what lichen looks like when it's really uh, well established. Uh, this is one type of lichen, and if you look over here, there's another type of lichen here. So there's actually a couple varieties over here. There's also like a yellowish tinge type of lichen. I'm not sure if this is it right here. There's a couple of varieties of it. And on this tree, I can see at least two of them. But what it does is it gets into the tree, and eventually what happens is when a lichen gets very well established, it starts to, you see how it killed the bark here? You see this? This is what lichen does to trees. Now a lot of people say, no, it does do, do, do hurt the tree. Look what it's doing to the bark on my trees. All right? It's literally crumbling my bark off my trees. All right, the tree, the tree needs to be able to breathe. It, it can't, the, the bark is the protection of the tree. See how it gets on here? You see what it's doing? The bark is coming, dying and falling off. See that? And that's why I'm telling you, it's no good. It's not good for trees. It gets on the trees, yes. And I know it can live on the trees for a while. It can live down there for hundreds of years even, depending on the type of bark and the type of tree. There's a nice patch of lichen. Look at that chunk. But I just had to take a tree down in front of my house recently, and I believe that one of the reasons why it died is because the lichen took over. And that tree was a hundred times worse than what you're looking at here. You see all these huge patches of lichen on there and this around here and all that? The other tree was completely covered in lichen, and the bark was falling off the tree. And I believe that had a lot to do with it. Here's a good example of two different types of lichen. The light kind, and here's the blue type. 
I think the blue type's actually more destructive than the yellow one. Yeah, but this stuff can really do some damage, you know. It just gets on that bark, it gets in there, it wet, wet rots it and dry rots it and everything else. And then next thing you know, your bark's coming off your tree. Now you got to cut the part of that tree down or it's going to fall down. So, there's more lichen. Again, there's the light green version right here. And then we got like a blue version right here. Now there is other versions. I have seen different types of lichen. There are different lichens up here, up in Pennsylvania. I've seen like four different varieties of lichen. I just don't see them on my property or any of the trees yet. I haven't come across any. Here's a nice patch of lichen. Two varieties of lichen grown side by side. Nice blue, purple type. And uh, you got blue. And then the light green right here, blue and the light green. Isn't that gorgeous looking? Even though it's destroying my tree, it's still a beautiful plant. I wish I could get something like that to grow in my fish tank. That would be totally awesome. It's a, it's a beautiful plant, don't get me wrong. But at the same time, it's killing my trees. It's a killing my trees. All right, there's like an air. Here's a, a little patch of it. All right, so... Keep that in mind. If I come across any of the other varieties of lichen, I will attach them to the video just to show you the different types of lichen. Now, there are other things that grow on trees that are parasitic plants, like um, like there are wart. It's called wart. There's liver wart. There's all these different kinds of wart, but there's another type of wart. You'll see it very common on trees. Uh, it doesn't really grow in this part of Pennsylvania, but if you go to like Washington or you go to places like Vermont where it's very moist all the time and you'll see a lot of the forests get covered in mosses, it grows among those mosses and it's a different type of wart. Eventually when I get myself out into the woods, we will do more videos on that kind of uh, lichen and wart and some of the other things that grow in that environment. And the reason why I have an interest in those things is because I like to build terrariums and vivariums and things like that and, and moss gardens. And I'm really into it. And these are all the plants that you have to add to make that moss garden work. So I like to work with a lot of these plants. That's why I film them and bring them to your attention. Eventually, I'm going to do a video on, on me doing a moss garden or a vivarium or something like that. I will do something in the future. It's just right now I'm very, very busy and I don't have time to do a vivarium. Uh, this, this black stuff might actually be wart right here. That might be wart. It does look like that. It's spidery looking and veiny. I can't really see it too well because I don't have my glasses, but it does look like that. That's actually a plant. That's not moss. That's not mold. It's its its own species of thing. And that's what that would be called. I believe that might be wart. I don't believe that that is lichen. It's growing among the lichen. But I believe that right there, what you're looking at is a type of wart. And that, and that is its own species. In fact, I, now that I've noticed it, I do see it in other spots a little more prominently. I, this might be some of the same stuff. I have to show you good examples of it. It kind of grows like veins. And it spreads out on a tree. It, it's really, really weird looking. It's like totally cool looking. It's what you would want to add to your vivarium because it's because it's so unique looking that it's it's a very cool looking type of plant. But you got to make the conditions right for it; it won't live. That might be why you don't really see it here. It's just not wet enough. It needs to be wet constantly, and the moss needs to be prominent on the tree. You need to see a lot of moss. That means it's very moist. I mean, you do see patches of it, like right here. You do see patches, but not very much, and it's very thin, and it doesn't look like it wants to survive, to be honest with you. That's why you don't really see it prominent on this tree. There's a patch of lichen. If I were to take you into the mountains, I'd really show you some school, cool stuff, because there are so many different environmental conditions in, inside of one mountain area, which is so vast. You got open, sunny areas, then you got shady areas from deep woods and conifer areas and hardwood areas and all these things live in all different environments so you can locate them that way 
I really missed my prime to do my woods walk. Normally, if I go in, out and I do like filming or I'm going to film something in the woods, I really missed it. You really want to be out there April and May. This is already too late. Everything's already come up and all the mushrooms are gone. And I mean, yeah, you get some mushrooms, but you, you really need to get out early to get all that stuff. And it's already too late for me. Nah, I don't see the other lichen. It, this could be one of them right here. I don't know if it's focusing or not. That could be one. It's like a orange yellowish type of lichen that grows that we get up here. But that's about it. That's all I see around here. All right. If anything else comes up, I'll film it and add it to the film.